beautiful Friday morning, July the 12th. And it's only about 7.30 in the morning and I'm already up here. We're working on the woods hayfield today. I'm up here bailing right now. Dad raked this large part of it last night. And Wilson's working on raking the alfalfa field and then he's gonna work on the side hill. ready to complete my first bail.
Well, that went a lot better than I expected it to, filming wise. What I ended up doing was I just sat on this tripod here watching myself go by, but I could, if you saw, I changed the field of view a couple of times using the remote, and that changed the field of view from, it was narrow mode first, and then it went to wide, and then the linear mode to for the rest. But what was really cool was I had my the GoPro app on my phone. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. If I connect my GoPro. What will end up happening is most of the time while I was out there, I could see what the GoPro is filming from the GoPro app. So if I look here probably can't see it. Oh, there it is. You can see what the GoPro is filming on this little screen right here. So it should be an exact copy of what you're seeing now on that little screen. Which is really handy if you can't see what you're filming but you want to know. I think the range was a lot farther than I expected it to. It, the camera on the phone quit out a couple of rows before I was done, but that's alright. So now, I've been asked to do the side hill first, before I do the alfalfa. Probably because the alfalfa is still a little bit wet yet. But I'll probably also set up the camera on the corner of the alfalfa field looking that way for a time lapse. Hopefully, doing it there. I'm starting to debate whether I should time lapse me bailing the alfalfa or not. And I'll tell you why. When I was, the tripod was set over there, I had light showing on everything because the sun's up there, shining down that direction. But if I put it at the corner of this field, it would be shining back that direction into the sun. So it probably wouldn't get the best of light on the tractor and the baler. I'll set up the tripod when I'm ready to bail and see what it looks like.
baling of the field. We just have this bale to finish wrapping. And then if that one will fit in the arm, which I'm not yet sure if it will or not. This crop definitely was shorter than the first crop. First crop, as you can see way over there, it has about 50, 53 bales there. We have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 bales here. And first crop did not include the side hill because we square baled it. So first crop was 53 from this field and that field. This was 17 from all three fields. Nice thing is it's about 11 o'clock, so we won't be up here late into the afternoon like we have been on occasions. Looking to me right now that it won't. But the arm may be able to pick it up. Ooh, it might. Yay! It does fit. put the plastic back in because when it ripped done with this field for a second crop in the woods. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>